I almost quit music. I was on the path of completely throwing it all away. I was making decisions that were taking me in a completely different direction. And I almost gave up on what I'm most passionate about, which truly is music and helping people. And today I'm going to share that story with you because I think it's really going to resonate with you. If you're a musician, an independent artist, and you felt like giving up, that's okay. That's normal. It's part of the journey. So back in around 2022, I, well, even dating before that, I always had this limiting belief when I would come here to sit down and make music, I would have resistance come in that would say, hey, why am I making this song right now if I'm not going to make any money from my music? Why am I making this song if it's not going to get a million streams? Why am I doing all this? I should be out there getting some money. And as much as it pains me to admit, that held me back. And what I ended up doing, which ended up being good in the long run, was I took a lot of breaks from music. And I said, I need to figure out how to make money. And... So I took a break and started what's called an SMMA, a social media marketing agency. And I was all in on that business. I was helping real estate agents, which has nothing to do with music. None of that has anything to do with music. And I joined a coaching program, great coaching program called Agency Lab. And it was there where I met the person who I would first work for, which his name is Amin Gaddy who's the, uh, he's super successful. Anyway, I was doing my agency. It wasn't working out. And I said, man, you know, this guy, Amin has it really figured out. Um, and I don't even really care about this whole agency thing anyway. I just care about music. I'm just doing this to make money for music. Why don't I go join him as his closer? So I asked him, Hey man, I want to be your closer. He's like, well, I'm not ready for that, blah, blah, blah. And I said, don't worry, let's just build this thing together. I want to be your closer. And I sold him, I closed him on the idea of having me be his closer. So I worked for him for four months, learned a ton, learned basically closing and how to run and operate an online business at a high level. And it got to a point where, yeah, I was starting to make some money. I was doing good. And I could see that the company was going in the right direction. And I had full faith and trust in Amin. But things weren't working out the way I wanted because I realized I woke up every day dreading my day. And it had nothing to do with Amin. He's an amazing person. This just wasn't my purpose. I just didn't want to do that. And I would wake up every day upset that I would wake up angry, not looking forward to my day, just thinking, oh, I got to grind this out. And I think after four months, I was like, what am I doing? Like, I'm miserable. Like, I literally would rather wake up and not have anything and not have to do anything on my calendar and be broke than have to do what I'm doing right now. Mind you, I was... I was married. I mean, I'm still married, but this was after I had gotten married, right? So I talked a lot about this with Erica and she believed in me the whole time that like, you can do whatever you want to do. And I just was like, I'm, I'm out. Like I, I stopped. So I stopped working for Amin and, but it was at that point before I was, when I was working with him and when things were going well was when I decided maybe, maybe I would quit. Like maybe I wasn't, maybe music wasn't it. Like I thought about that. I said, maybe music just isn't the right thing for me. I love making money and I want to make money and I I really do love business. And so I did go that route of like just sales and marketing and all that stuff outside of the music industry. And then when those days started coming together where I really didn't even want to wake up because I hated the look of my day, I said, no, I got to go back to what I want to do, which is music. And so when I quit, I said, all right, I'm, I'm going to stop working with Amin, but I'm going to take, you know, and I'm going to stop the whole SMMA thing. And I'm going to take what I learned from all of those experiences in business and apply them to music. So the first thing that I went and did was I went and did the artist route, which I was already, I've, I am an artist, but in terms of the business building, I was saying, I'm going to build a music business as an artist, sell CDs, run ads, you know, grow my, grow my songs, grow my music. 
Um, it didn't end up working out as well either because I said, again, like, first of all, this isn't my purpose. I, I do love making music, but just the way it was going business wise, it was not, it wasn't what I wanted. I was selling cheap CDs. I was building low ticket funnels for me personally. I just didn't want to do that. I just didn't want to do that. And the other thing was I didn't want to tour. You know, I, I, I have fun when I perform. I really, really enjoy performing, but Everything else around performing and putting on a show, I dread. I hate it. I'm a home body. Even though I'm super extroverted and I do love to go out and, uh, well, not even as much anymore, but I love to be around people, I am such a home body. In fact, I've turned more into a home body and I've I've actually adopted a lot more introverted, um, a lot more introverted tendencies over the last few years. But anyway... I didn't want to go out and tour. And I was like, dude, all these things that involve making a business as an artist, I didn't love and I didn't want to do. But I said, well, what is this other thing I love, which is I love helping people. I love working with people. I love coaching people. I've been a basketball coach for years. I've trained. I've done that. I've done basketball camps. And I always looked up to my coaches and I said, and I've worked with coaches in business. And I said, this is what I want to do. Like, I want to be a coach. I love coaching. I love this kind of idea and I love the business model. I'm a business person. I love it. And so in 2022, I got into so deep into it and I went so far off the path where I almost quit. And I I took that away. I went broke as fuck for a while. And then 2023, at the end of 2022, which was that was the year that I stopped working with Amin and the social media stuff. At the end of 2022, I said, you're about to go into 2023 and you need to change your life. This has to be it. Like make 2022 the last year you're broke because, you know, Lee, you've been broke for so long, like it's time to stop. And I said, 2023 will be the year that I worked the hardest that I've ever worked in my life. I'm just going to grind. And so that's what happened. First six months, I had three jobs. I worked at a coffee shop. I did video editing for a couple of real estate agents. And I was still doing basketball training, about six to eight clients a week. And I was still trying to build my music business, right? Trying to build this business where I teach music artists how to become their own producers in 90 days. So teaching music production. So the first six months I was grinding. I wasn't spending money on ads. I didn't really know what I was going to do with that. I didn't know how I was going to run the ads. And I also didn't really have any money for ads. Um, But with that third job working at the coffee shop, I had some of the money. I ended up working with a mentor named Jeremy Pogue who completely changed my life. And, you know, he's the one who taught me, hey, like build your business like this. And he showed me how to build my coaching business and grow it. And in the last six months of 2023, I ended up pulling in around $77,000 in cash collected in just those last six months. Mind you, Every year before that, I had never even made 30,000. I think in 2022, I might've made 30 grand in all of 2022. So I went from that to 2023, last six months, I did something around 77,000 in cash collected just with music. And now I'm at this point, it's 2024 and I'm doing great. Like I'm paying the bills with music. I'm making great money with music. I'm saving money. I'm investing back. Everything is happening. I get to like, Just like those things where it's like I go to the grocery store, I go to the gas station and I pay rent with money that I make from what I love doing, which is me making music and me teaching other people how to make great music and how to further their careers. So if you want to be a part of that, if you want to join what we have going on, which is called the Rapid Fire Music Academy, all you have to do is click below and just go watch the main video. It's actually a free training where I show you what we do in our framework for how we teach our clients how to become their own producers in 90 days from making the beats, recording vocals at home, mixing and mastering in just 90 days uh, so that you don't have to keep spending thousands of dollars with producers and you don't have to keep wasting your time relying on people when you could just take creative control yourself, right? The music industry is in fact changing a lot. And I'm going to assume that you don't want to be one of the folks left behind. You know, you're maybe one of those folks who said, man, I did make that pivot away from music. I'm in the corporate world now. I've got a family now, but I've never really let go of the love for music. And I've always kind of wanted to tie myself back into it, but I just didn't know how, right? If that's the case with you, and you might even still be making music, then this is the perfect opportunity for you. All you have to do is click below, go watch the main video. And if you like what we've got going on, you'll be prompted to book a call with me and see if enrolling in the academy is in fact the right fit for you. So really, really appreciate you watching this video. Hope you got some value from it. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Peace.
You're so fucking sexy.